So, welcome back to Puff TV. My name is Johanna Kristina and we're here right in the heart of the Black Knights Film Festival. Today we have two amazing guests with us uh, who are behind uh, the film The Watchman. Uh, two amazing uh, film directors, uh, Lou de Pontavis and Victoire Bonin Gre. <laughs> so, welcome and uh, how are you? Thank you. Uh, we are very, very good and very, very happy to be there, to be welcomed by the Bof Festival. Um, yes, so happy to be there. Really nice, really good to hear that. So my first question would be, what inspired you to make this movie? Was it some kind of ex uh, um, um, personal experience or some event that uh, you saw and inspired you or... It was one family that inspired you, or how was it? <laughs> uh, actually, we it's an encounter with uh, Guangdong mm -hmm. first, and his son uh, Zhao Hong, and after Bao Yan, the mother of the film. So we met uh, father and son uh, like six years ago now, in China, in uh, Beijing. Okay. And we were there to make, a, at this moment, it was a short movie. Mm -hmm. And we met them at the conservatory where uh, Zhao Hong is st uh, was studying mm -hmm. and uh, Guangdong was a watchman and we met together and it was the beginning of, the, of, the, of this adventure mm -hmm. and after for six years we stayed uh, in contact, we filmed them and uh, yes, from an encounter. So to to go from the short movie to the feature movie, it was really the strong bond that we build with mm -hmm. the father that make uh, it's Guangdong that make us want to continue and to elaborate more about him, his story, and the family story. Mm -hmm. So we we go from the short to the to the feature because of the relationship that we had. Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, why exactly this family? Like, why them? Uh, why them? I think um, first, okay, again, first was with Guangdong, the father. And Guangdong had uh, big desires when we met him. Uh, he was a watchman, so he was, you know, watching over his son with the, the, the big dream of uh, going in uh, for him some to go abroad. And uh, and he has this yes desire for his son, and he was also in a moment of changing because he just arrived in Beijing. They are f coming from the countryside, so it was a moment of uh, big change. And also the meeting, the yeah meeting or encounter with Guangdong was um, I don't know how to say, but it was like a bit an evidence when we met him. He was. Uh, He's a very strong personality and uh, like strong potential of uh, changing with um, uh, dreams, a lot of dreams when he was uh, when we we met him. And I think also uh, we felt with Lou that he wanted to share something mm -hmm. and to share something with us. He had something to tell and he wanted to tell it uh, a bit more than just. Uh, with his family and stuff he wanted to share and to discuss about his own story and as uh, Lou say it was because it was a moment of uh, like uh, total change in his life he had uh, uh, wanted to express and to speak about himself mm -hmm. yeah. and we were so happy because it was the first time in China that we met someone who was so open to to share with us and to to uh, to build a movie and we could feel we could build a movie together because you can you when you make a movie you have to make it together to to be good and from the very beginning to the very end he was always with us and really wanted to to trust us and to trust the movie Okay. Wow, really, really cool. Mm -hmm. But you were like uh, traveling there, so you could find somebody to make a film of, or you were just like traveling. It's like was it uh, like uh, you ha you wanted to go there and find somebody? Mm -hmm. it, was it a miss mission already or no? It, it was specific because it was uh, we 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 did a school called Ansas, uh -huh. and in that school there is an exchange program, and we were in exchange with Beijing Film Academy. And oh, you are okay. just send 
out of nowhere in in China, in Beijing, with no translator. And the only <laughs> aim that you have on those five weeks is to uh, find a subject. It can be a character, it can be building, it can be whatever you want, okay. but a subject and to film. And when you go back to uh, to Belgium, you have to bring like the rushes, the image and the sound uh, to uh, to make a movie. So we were really looking, looking hard to find a character. And also uh, before finding him, we, we wanted to do a uh, a lot of interview because before we wanted to focus on a child but as we know that we are European and we didn't want to um, make something stereotypical in our vision of China we before meeting Guangdong we we spent I think three or four weeks like yes. three weeks and a half to meet people trying to have interview even if we didn't want to make a movie interview mm -hmm. uh, we wanted to just meet people through the interview and to understand better uh, Chinese education in a very short time and not even Chinese education but Beijing education I would say uh, and uh, and so we met so many child uh, in this uh, context yeah okay okay but uh, do you know also like why the son his name is Xiao, Zhao, Hong. Zhao Hong right uh, why he ended up uh, picking up Estonia as the study destination um, actually there is the this uh, great school the conservatory yeah. of yeah. Stalin and um, also he has a teacher named Panier uh, that I hope he will be at the screening tonight. Uh, he really helped Zhao Hong to uh, teach him lessons and to welcome him in Estonia because he was already teaching in the school. Mm -hmm. And, and Panye was coming from China too. Okay. So he really helped Zhao Hong to come and for, I think, for Zhao Hong also. Uh, it was nice to so know someone. So he was like a mentor. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, really cool. Uh, but what was the biggest uh, challenges with this film when you were making it? So many. <laughs> <laughs> so many. One of the most, I think, challenging thing is to come in a foreign country mm. where you don't speak the language. So you really have to be in a listen state all the time to understand the, the people you are filming and understand their rhythm, to understand uh, all the human parts and the... And also when you're not speaking the language, when you film, uh, well, it's, Victor will tell it better, but y or also to know how to tell a story or to film, uh, you have to, to try to connect to another thing like the bodies when you're not speaking the language to really try to feel the person. Oh, yeah. Uh, and another thing, uh, when you are again a stranger in a new culture, to like Victoire said uh, earlier about the stereotype, to really trying to fight to fight it, mm -hmm. so to not have a, to to be in a really open open minded uh, state, and um, yes, another challenge is when you meet people, and you have a you are like uh, sharing conf confidence link, very strong link, and people. Uh, put confidence in you because you will uh, tell about their story, you will film them. It's when you are in the editing part to really try to be um, um, faithful to what they shared uh, of their intimacy and you are like responsible about this. So that was a big challenge too. I, w I would have said that I would have said like the that the character himself and the son and the wife recognize themselves in the movie, even if the movie is not soft. Uh, it's because they share like some deep thing with us. They recognize and they can be proud of them, uh, and and proud of what they share because we after we share it to the world, but in this wo in this form. Like so, um, as as Lou said, that we respect uh, what they gave, and we try to even 
make it uh, with sound, with music, making in another form that can be even more powerful to the people that will watch the movie and that they don't have the experience of life with them, but they can feel the life with them mm -hmm. through the movie. And this was a big challenge because uh, with time and stuff, they become all the three of them become really close and close friends. So uh, we wanted they be they are proud of the movie and yeah. and tonight we are really happy because uh, Zawang and Guangdong uh, invited uh, a lot of uh, people that they like and so it means that they are proud of the movie and mm -hmm. they want to to share it with other people. So, yes. this is, uh, so cute. Yeah. And good job also. Wow. Uh, but what is the message you would like uh, the viewer to take away from this documentary? Do you have any specific message behind it? Uh, personally, maybe Lou, I, I don't have any message. I I just want that they they <coughs> they would say, oh, we we understand this family. We could feel what Guangdong is. And the uh, and the son and the wife, Zhao Wang and Bao Yan, are experimenting in this life, and I think they could feel their life would be the best for us. And we try to in the movie to construct uh, not only with dialogue, but as I say, with music, with image, with sound, to construct their life, and that the viewer could uh, really feel it. Mm -hmm. So uh, I hope uh, uh, they can just feel something about their life, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, and I would add that um, making this film, rea realizing also today, now that the film is finished, that uh, we, uh, it's a film about bonds, bonds, links, mm -hmm. relationship, and I think that today with uh, what is happening <laughs> in the world and I think link is extremely important to, to build it, to understand, to so this film is about relationships, family relationship, but also uh, our relationship, Victoire and me, and, and, and with uh, the protagonist, and it's about, uh, about this a lot also. Even if we are not in the movie, it's, mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's a bond between uh, us and them mm -hmm. that create the movie. Because yeah. without that, we don't have uh, nothing. We don't have movies, and yes. and yeah, this is so. It's really like personal connection, also. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And that they were curious to know other culture, and we were curious to know other culture. So mm -hmm. it's kind of open-minded. Because I was telling to a friend uh, last day that um, it's incredible, like the. Um, they were so curious. They make the movie because they were so curious <laughs> of us. And and we make the movie because we were so curious of them. And it's this curiosity that makes the movie. And without that, you you can't make anything. So mm -hmm. And in a way, by making this movie, it's not very ch in Chinese culture to open themselves so much because they open. They become a little bit more... European French and us because the movie is t a very um, uh, I would say eyes opening no uh, a very uh, simple simple shot long shot uh, uh, we also uh, go to world there uh, it's it's difficult in English but uh, there. Um, their culture because they they don't share a lot of emotion. They we we went towards them, so it's a meeting point that is interesting. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm not so clear. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, I I understood. Thank you. Yeah. But uh, can you tell us um, where is the family now and how are they doing? If the connection is so personal, so yeah. yes, yes. So Zhao Hong and Wang Dong. So the father and son are in Estonia. So first Zhao Hong came in Estonia to study three years ago, three years ago, and Guangdong came one year ago to live in Estonia. Mm. Yes, oh. and yes, he managed to to do that, oh. and uh, cool. we were really happy for for him. 
Yeah. Um, and the mother stayed in uh, in China for now. In okay, and she will stay there or? Uh, we don't know. Okay. Uh, for now, she's uh, she's staying there. Okay. And, uh, yes. We'll okay. See the future. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm happy for the father. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, but uh, thank you for joining uh, us. And just one thing. I yes, think of the course. Father would like to, us to also to, to say this, but now Zhao Hong is uh, part of the orchestra, uh, playing um, French horn uh, in the classical orchestra of uh, Tallinn. Oh, yeah. so oh, it's great! A big uh, pass. <laughs> oh, oh yes. good job! Yeah. For, <laughs> yeah, yeah, really, really nice. So, yeah, we can give an applaud uh, yeah, to him exactly. <laughs> and to you also. <laughs> and also, thank you for sharing those details about this film and about this story. Uh, s and uh, thank you also for joining us. And it was really nice to meet you. Thank and you so much. Uh, yeah. And uh, thank you for tuning in to Puff TV. Um, I hope you, s I hope you, s uh, I hope I will see you also on this channel. So, <laughs> bye. <laughs>